get in there. I'm, I'm trying, but you, but you don't share. I'm going to let you pop your titties like this. You don't ever want to share with me. I do. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up, guys? Welcome Hi. to Hellfire Radio. We're going to need your motherfuckers' help. Y'all got to share. Big time. <laughs> need you to share because this is a new page, a new thing. The flagship, bitches. <laughs> flagship show kickoff. We only got like 12 close, years. close to 400 likes on here in a day. It's the first day. It's the first day. We virgins again. We need your help. <laughs> so share the big ass groups. Yeah, we're going to bring the first thing. Jerry. 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 Oh, Jerry. Uh, Robert, hello. But we are going to bring the first thing on about probably 8 o'clock. 830. 830. 830. Okay, 815. We're going to compromise. 815, we're going to bring the I first band on. I told them 830 on the phone. So as far as they know, I they're not even. I talked to them. Oh. Which one? There's both. two bands. I talked to both. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So share to your groups as usual. If we hit a hundred tonight, we're gonna give away a shirt because uh, it's a new page. So we're not sure that we can do that. Yeah. But <laughs> the big yeah. So hundred at hundred, we'll give away some free sheets. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll give out some free stuff if we hit a hundred. <gasps> What up, Sarah? Sarah, guess what? In like a little over a month, we get to hug you in person. Queen of the minions. Queen of the minions. So how you guys doing? Are you you ready for some bands? Here's the good thing. Friday Fuckery's back. It's been a while. We've been gone because we've been on tour. Tour was beautiful. And it won't we won't be on next Friday. Oh yeah. Metal in the Mountains was amazing. Uh Utah was amazing. We had a good time. Uh, we back. met all sorts of people, like now, Jerry. Here's the cool thing. Here's the cool thing. Uh, from now on, on the Friday Fuckery show, since a lot of people weren't on it, uh, we are going to start having two bands for show. Not one band anymore, but two. Dose. Two. Because we, we had no more space left, and people still wanted to be on, so... You know, we have to do what we got to do. Thank you, Amber. Hello, Jennifer. And thank you, uh, I was going to say, Robert. Hello, Joshua. Like I said before, guys, share to your groups, invite your friends. Once we hit 100, or if we hit 100, we'll give away a t-shirt, so. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So. The bands tonight are Songe. Song, 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 I'll ask them how to pronounce them when they get them on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. But, and Worldwide Panic. Yes. Worldwide Panic is actually were or had were on tour with Mushroom Head not too long ago. Speaking so. of Sanjay, um, our manager did not get us their music, so we don't have any um, music videos for them today. But uh, we will find it afterwards. He's he's in the hospital with his wife, so once he can, he's gonna send that to me, and I'll just make a separate post, and we'll make uh, Sanjay their own poster song too. Demonic! How are you? Hello, Amy. I'm sorry. Don't be stuck in the hospital. That's not So I hope you guys are excited about the return of Friday Fuckery today. And like we said, because this is a new station, new platform, new everything, we... We are virgin babies. Really need your help in sharing. We need you to share, 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 share like a motherfucker so we can get this out and we can get a decent crowd for the bands in here. Yeah. Yeah, keep sharing, and guys. help us build our page. Hi, Heel. Hi, Ashley. Uh, watching from my vacation in Florida. You are a lucky bitch. Fantastic. Is it is it weird owning your own radio station now? Yeah, it's kind of weird. It is a little weird. It's not weird though, like super weird, because we can still do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we. I'll, I'll actually be posting up a poster later tonight of. A few of the on-air personalities that you will see on-air and on Facebook Live. Hi, Jason. So, that's coming later tonight. Hi, Mike. Hi, Jacob. It's not everybody. We, we've we got, like, how many DJs do we have hired right now? Six? six. Yeah, six. So. We're going to do a flagship with them for at least a couple months into the radio station before we bring more DJs on. Just to make yes. sure that we can uh, handle... Because we are going to be managing all of them, so... We have to make sure that we can handle that many uh, DJs before we add any more. Yeah, we, we, we gotta 
We gotta become a well-oiled machine before we add more pots. Yeah. Watch it from North Carolina. It's kind of like like you want to you want to make sure your machine works before you add like an extension to it. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Chris. How are you? Thank you so much. Um, like I said before, guys, and like he said, keep sharing. Invite your friends. Uh, we need your guys' help. We need you guys to share. If we hit 100, we're going to give away a prize pack. How about that? We'll give away a prize pack. <laughs> Anthony says he cannot DJ, so do not ask. Okay. <laughs> Pereira gotcha. Shea, do you make chocolate? No, he doesn't make chocolate. He does. Chocolate. He makes chocolate. Maybe with his ass. <laughs> Our feet is out of focus. Uh, I think that's just for you, brother man. Just you. Hi, Daniel. But yeah, keep sharing, guys. We need to get this up to 100. If we hit 100, we're going to give away a prize pack. And we just got our patches in today, so. Oh, shit. We did get the patches in. Hi, Mohawk. Did you even bring them down here? Of course not. Uh, they, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Anthony's thank laugh you. crying. I'm glad I can bring you joy. Or I don't know if you're joying or crying, but <laughs> you're welcome. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> also, if you guys did not hear, Metal in the Mountains next year is going to be a three-day oh, event. Yeah, three days. Three fucking days. Three days. And it's on my birthday. It is on your birthday, isn't it? Yeah. Like, on your birthday. On my birthday. Like, on your birthday. Can I just, instead of throwing cupcakes, can I throw an entire cake and then throw a Ferrero Shea at Ferrero Shea? Wait a minute. I, 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 hold on, wait you want to throw Ferrero Rocher at Ferrero Rocher? Yeah. Why? Sounds fun. Why do you want to throw chocolate at him? I'm going to be like, to you? I'm going to be like, be a cannibal! <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Creature Con is this weekend. Sweet! Hope you have fun. <laughs> Demonic said he can spell DJ. Does that count? <laughs> I, um, I mean, I guess. <laughs> not... I, mean, I think that all that really counts as is that the fact that you can't spell. I'm proud of you. That has nothing to do with being a DJ. I'm sorry to hear that, Amy. John Crow! What, what up, is John up, Crow? Bitch? John he, Crow hung out with us the entire week in a metal of the mountains. He may or when, may not have eaten a religious drug. Just kidding, he did it. <laughs> it is! I can do anything I want on my birthday because it's my birthday. What are we drinking? I'm drinking a uh, peach Bellini Smirnoff because... I'm actually drinking a new beer that she got me called Hop Rising yeah, Tropical Double IPA. And this badass motherfucker right here is 9%. Um, 9%. So I just got the okay. I, um, Ferrera Shea said I could throw an entire cake. An entire cake. I should get, like, yes! Oh, yeah, it's Anthony's birthday, too, that weekend. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Yes. So, can we throw two whole cakes? Me and Frere will stand next to each other, and we'll throw whole sheet cakes. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I do, too. I think we need to get a big, giant cake with the naked ladies popping out. Of Wait, no, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. It's, it's kind of a, I guess, a, it, it's all ages. Never mind, we can't do that. Never mind, forget the Marilyn Monroe cake. <laughs> John said, oh, but I did. I was trying to save you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep sharing, guys. At 100, we're going to give away a t-shirt, so. Spill secrets about what happens on to Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he said at the same time. Yes, yes. I am so down. Yes. Scott, what is up? What up, Scott Paulson? Uh, How are you, brother? Shock Jock Scott is in the house. He will be one of the many personalities belonging to Hellfire Radio. And so is Anthony. He's our newest DJ. Congratulations, Ferrer <laughs> Shea! It's going to be called the Ferrer Shea Show, and he's just going to talk about... Chocolate, chocolate and metal. Chocolate and metal, yeah. <laughs> no, he can eat, like, the world's hottest chocolate and talk about metal. Like the hot chocolate, you know, the hot chocolate bar? It's a yeah, one no. episode. Let it's me a tell one you episode. motherfuckers about hot. Let me tell you about hot. It's too hot. Okay. hot. Where is it? Where is it? It's right here. <laughs> So we're in Utah. We're 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 in fucking Utah. We're in fucking Utah. And there's a booth. There's a booth. 
What booze. was the booze called? Burnyourtongue.com. Burnyourtongue.com. And this asshole right here. I'm not an asshole. Decides to tell people. I'm your favorite. That if they donate $100, then I am going to do the hottest damn hot sauce. Hi, Luis. On the fucking table. Sinister. That they carry. So, I proceed to walk up to said table, and I proceed to take said hot sauce and dump an entire huge ass spoonful on this chip and eat it. Yeah. Now, henceforth. Thank you, Brandon. Hello, Sophia. You're only supposed to do the recommended amount, which is this tiny like, little spoon. Okay. Literally, like. I did an entire big spoon. Let me Sarah tell you. said she likes hot stuff. We'll bring you this uh, hot sauce to try and Let Oklahoma. me tell you something. This shit damn near killed me. He started hiccuping like immediately. He was like, <laughs> and I can tell you what else it did. Oh yeah! It rain. made me shit the fucking rain. lava fire. for about the rain twenty-four of fire. hours. After that. <laughs> Hi, Luis. Ma. Me. Butthole one. was on fucking fire. Ryan asked to hear our battle cry, and that was mine. Me. It was bad, but Me. this is the hot sauce. I actually have it. They gave me one for a trophy. Comes with a bullet in case Excuse you want to put yourself out of your memory. Misery, not memory. Well, if you want to lose the memory of doing it, you know, you can put She wants bullet. us to yeah. bring it. Sarah does. Okay. You got it. Uh, but it is Mad Dog. Yeah, he needs to try Satan's toe this year for the for the charity event. And this thing is made out of Reaper. And then scorpion. he said you blew your O ring out. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. He could have used did. it as a floaty. No, there was there was no floating on oh, that. When it exploded. Oh yeah. It was like like it was like fucking disintegrated. <laughs> Keep sharing, guys. Share to your groups. Invite your friends. At 100, we're going to give away all sorts of t-shirts and patches. Like, I'm and... talking like so disintegrated, it's like fucking ash. Ryan, it has Carolina Reaper in it. Yes, it does. It has Carolina Reaper, Scorpion Peppers, Scorpion. Uh, Naga Viper, and Ghost Pepper. Ghost Pepper. All four peppers combined into one fucking hot sauce. This is penguin butter, or peanut butter penguin butt sex. The clencher. <laughs> <laughs> How can you get some of the hot sauce? Uh, you can hit up Burn Your Tongue on burn Facebook. Your tongue or go to burnyourtongue.com and they will hook you up. It's called uh, Mad Dog 357. And it costs $25 for a bottle. But a bottle will last you forever. Keep sharing, guys. I need you to share before we bring the bands on, please. Ah! Ah! Not only is your throat going to be on fire, but you might not have an ass left after you eat it. Yep, oh, much. So I already went. I already did it. And uh, it was not enjoyable. I can tell you that right now. It was horrible. What up, my God? How are you? If you guys did a porn, I'd watch it. You know what? I'd probably watch it, too. <laughs> I'd have to do like a selfie stick so I could see what was happening. Hi, James. Well, that's what a mirror on the ceiling is for. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Just yeah. say it. Hell Just yeah. say it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What up, Mike Slicer? How are Mike you? Mike Slicer in the house. So, like we said, guys, help us keep keep sharing the fuck out of this so we can get a bunch of people in here. This is a new radio station, new platform, new everything. New, so, new, 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 new. we need your help to build this. We need your help. We need you to share. I don't care where you share today because we need you guys to share. So you can share in. Why sell trade groups? Metal, hard rock, heavy metal, you know, all that, whatever I just said. I don't you know. You, like, duplicated your words. I have dyslexia. Yay. Uh, That's beyond dyslexia. Horror dyslexia core. is black backwards. Oh, pig Latin. That's when you, know. you read backwards. Yeah, well, no, it's when I flip words around. I do it all the time. Well, you um, duplicated it. And words. Uh, she did. 
<laughs> uh, troll groups, Indian groups, um, wish group. I don't care where you share it. Just fucking share it. We need you guys to share as much as your tiny little thumbs will share. Whoever shares to the most groups is going to win a Hellfire Radio hoodie. Big Vigs. That's big, badass. Big, big, I want a Hellfire big, big, Radio big. hoodie. I do too. I was just crying earlier that I don't have any freaking hoodies. We fucking love you too, Hill. What's up, Chris? Mike? Stupid bull. What up? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Let's get her done, said Scott. That's definitely not a voice you've ever used, I don't think. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. I don't think so. Hello, up, Ty? Ty Thornton. How are you? How are you? How are you? Keep sharing. Keep sharing. At 100, we're going to give away a t-shirt. Bip, 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 bip. First t-shirt ever of hell. Fire radio. So how's sharing. everybody tonight? How's your Friday? It's a beautiful You shared Friday. us to a furry group. That Thank works. You. They usually like us. They want to fuck us, though. We met one at Ogden. She said nothing about fucking us. I saw it in her furry eyes. Did you? Yeah. Did you? The way she swung that tail around. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Yeah, so we fucking love you too, Ty. Keep sharing to your groups, though. We need you to keep sharing your groups, inviting your friends, share to your mom's chihuahua. I don't care. Do it. He said he's high as fuck. I got your last name right. Rihanna, what is up, girl? I also need lots of doing? hearts. I need hearts and I need chips. Hearts and chips and hearts and chips. Now, nope, it's never gonna happen, Kevin. You would have to offer Scoops a shit ton of money. Nope. A lot. Not happening. Keep wasting that big boy. <laughs> Cassie, hello. Hello, Cassie. How are you? What's good, Nate Pacheco? We just met him last what week. What up, Nate? See, saw y'all at Mountain the Mountains. Thank what you. Up, Andrew, Thank how you, you for doing? Uh, joining us. You want yep. to see us back? Make sure you let him know that you want to see us. What up, Josh? How are you? Josh, what is up? Guys, uh, for those of you just coming in, we need you to share, invite your friends, and bring your friends in. It's a new channel, so we get, really need your guys' help to keep on sharing. We are going to give you guys a lot of shit away tonight. If we can reach 100, we're going to give some shit away. How about this? I'll give away three prize packs at 100. Three of them. Need you guys to share. Three pies packs. Gotta get us to 100. All 43 of you. Share us to like five heavy metal groups and we go get there fast. Ah, uh, thank you, Biggs. We appreciate it, brother. Thank Very you. much appreciate it. What's up, Patricia, Patricia Russell? How are you there? Hi, McCard. And make sure if you're new here, hit the little thumbs up button or a little smiley face for us. Hi, Jane. How are you? Actually, this is our full-time job. Good guess, jackass. <laughs> you guys are evil when you're not working at 7-Eleven or Home Depot. Actually, we work this. Our whole time. Like, this is our radio station. We own it. This is what we do for a full-time job. So. <laughs> the more you know. That was a flyby. <laughs> that was a flyby. Yep. You buzzed the tower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are weird. No shit. So are you. Your mom was pretty weird when we had her in bed like two weeks ago. That's gross. She said that you were conceived in a parking lot bathroom. That's nasty. Chronic (laughs) Dontriel. That's fucking stupid. What up, Cassie? Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate you and your friendship. Keep sharing, guys. At 100, we're giving away three prize packs of some t-shirts and some patches. Should I go get a patch? Do you guys want to see what the patches look like? Do it. Let's see if they, they want. Can we do a scarier clown lap? Yeah, but not on command. I gotta be feeling it. You follow me on TikTok? Oh, thank you! That's where all my stupid she, shit goes. Yeah, she loves how TikTok people. I, I occasionally make a, an entrance every once in a while. If you guys haven't seen it, I posted, um, I posted one, a new TikTok on Facebook yesterday. And it's my pride and joy. Uh, hello, what up, Doug? Doug Dick. What is it? Doug Dick. 
<laughs> what up, Will? Hello, Will. Right C- hot. C- oh, pa- must yeah. see patch. Patch one, two, see. See patch. Must see patch. They must see. Yeah. Must see. She's gonna. She's gonna go get patches after you she just get them to share, shove some enough. shove some cleavage into your face. We definitely need you guys to keep sharing, keep running it up. That way, the band can come on here in a little bit. Y'all can learn about a new band. Have a good time. We got two bands tonight. Two bands coming on tonight. Being interviewed tonight, right here. New station, new channel, new everything. What up, Doctor Destruction? That that's interesting. Like, what comic book are you from? <laughs> when does Kevin make his appearance? Kevin actually was on with us last hey night. <laughs> He was on with us last night, and he will be live from this page on Sunday, Sunday. right? Sunday, Kevin will be live. Patches! We're getting away. Three patches and three t-shirts, so share to your groups, invite your friends. Hi, Nick. What is up? Uh, thank you, James. But yeah, so... Y'all almost there. You had 67. Fantastic. These are so on patches. Nice and thick. Really well made. Man, keep sharing, motherfuckers. You're at 73 at 100. What well, on custom act <laughs> shot? I also need you guys to give me lots of hearts. Custom app shot. Thank you for coming in. Uh, speaking of custom act shot for our um, charity concert. We are doing two parts to our charity event this year. Sorry, my breath. Ah! The first one is a 12-hour straight live feed, just like last year. So any of you can join. But if you are local or close enough to Omaha that you would be willing to travel, we are doing a charity festival. All day, one day festival. Um, As is, is going to be there. Griever from Omaha. Abstract, comatose. Uh, My Style Tattooing, which did our tattoos in Utah, they're going to be there. Yeah. We're working on getting the guy who did our characters to come. Uh, it's going to be an all-day thing, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. we got, you know, more people coming. We're still booking bands. There's going to probably be between 12 to 14, 15 bands. It'll be a good time. Yes. I promise you. You definitely want to come out. Yes, join more group. Where is it at? The uh, charity event will be in Omaha, Nebraska at the Karma Night Club. Hashtag the Horror Host Network's new cover photo is getting put up with us in it. Thank you. Sweet. Do I need to follow Hellfire? Yes. Follow us. This is our new radio station. Like it. This is our radio station. It's literally ran and owned by us. So please show it some love. Like and follow. Uh, this will be for the forever home of the Friday Fuckery Show. No more moving. We're staying here. Hell yeah. Dale, if you would like us to listen to your music, please send it to uh, Hellfire um, in a message or the Scoops and Mischief page. Either way. Hi, yep. Jessica. And one of our DJs or us will get back to you. Yep. You guys are dropping your penises. I need you to hit 100 so I can give away uh, three patches. Ooh, that glow in the black light. Apparently. Oh, they do. Oh, shit. I might turn it off just so do they it. can see. Do it. Watch this. I think it's just the green, though. It is. No, not enough. Can't see it. Nowhere near enough. Well, I can see it. It glows. It's glows. It's bright as shit. No. It's still too, too light near. It's... It's de- I can't turn any more lights off, but it's definitely glowing in the dark, so. Yeah, it, uh, it's not enough. Pretty fucking sweet. Yep. <laughs> okay, anyway. Mike, we'll bring you one. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ty. Um, if you guys have any song requests for the radio station, you can send them to us in a message. We might make a post today or tomorrow about it. Who is the owner of Horror Host Network? That is... Scott Paulson. Scott Paulson. Keep sharing, guys. You guys are letting Which your we, we will be pay, We will be featured on the Horror Host Network very soon. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah it is a uh, very black light reactive. It's very just the green good. though. Just the but green. But it's still cool. Yeah, the green is extremely black light reactive. That is pretty fucking dope. But yeah, so share guys. Three of you are gonna win a patch and a t-shirt if you guys keep sharing to your groups. What's up, Hi. Pauline? How are you? How are you? Keep oh, that beer is strong. Is it? Oh yeah, it's good, but it is strong. What up, BS Sammy? Get in or BG? Not what BS. up, <laughs> Sammy? How are really you? My uh, blind contacts in the eye that I can see out of. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Keep sharing to your groups. Keep sharing to your friends. Chihuahuas, huskies, aunts, uncles, dads. I don't care. You're welcome. I just made that song up just now. Be Are careful not yourself? to shake your phone. If you shake your phone, you can report people's stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, it's bad. It's a new update. What is uh, going right. on here? The best shit you'll ever see on a Friday night. That's weird, but all right. What's your favorite band currently at the moment? Um, as is... We listened to our CD literally like 10 times on the way through old Wyoming. <laughs> seasons. Yep, seasons. Waking the sleeper. Waking the sleeper. Uh, Chelsea Grid. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Tiffany. How are you, dear? Ghost. We love ghosts. Guys, we need you to share to your groups. Keep sharing and don't stop. Share, 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 share. Yeah, we need you to share like a motherfucker. Share like a motherfucker. We got to build this page up, and we need you guys' help to do it. We also need you to put hearts. If you have not put a heart right now, there's a little heart button. Push the heart button. What up? Uh, oh, I am going to butcher that name. Zayla, welcome. Hell yeah. The creepy and the kooky. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, our night is going wonderful, Josh. Wonderful. One gift. We finally got a, a, a guaranteed home that was staying in Hellfire Radio. It is owned by Mischief and I. Um, we've got lots of partners coming in. We're going to be doing lots of, of networking with other radio stations. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot. Uh, if you guys are in a band and know of a band that might be interested in being interviewed... Uh, send them a message. Have them send us a message at Hellfire Radio or to the Scoops of Mischief page. Thank you for sharing, Pauline. Hello, David. Much love from St. Yeah. Louis. Now, the actual radio station pot, the internet radio, will be up in about two months or less. Probably less. Yeah, Probably a lot less. It's going to take a lot of um, work on our part to get it up and going. Because we have to, we can't just get the radio station up. We have to have a website to put it in. So, yeah, we gotta do both of those things. I'm actually gonna start working on the website tomorrow. So, it's coming. Hi, Eric. How are you, dear? Thank you, thank you, Josh. We also, appreciate that. If you guys weren't here um, when we first talked about Hellfire Radio. <laughs> we'd love to interview Slipknot. Yeah, we would love. You got to. any connections? You let us know. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you let us know. Uh, yes, we will, Mike. But um, this radio station is going to be a little bit different from your normal heavy metal radio station. Uh, we're gonna have heavy metal, hard rock, horrorcore, hip hop. Yes, all the H's. All the H's. Is that about that? It's all the H's. We're like quadruple H. Yeah. It's four, four H's. <laughs> four, four, isn't there a four O there? Yeah, the that's for H's, horses. <laughs> this is not for horses. <laughs> Will it be on satellite radio? That is the ultimate goal. That is the ultimate goal. Right now it's going to be internet radio, but the ultimate goal is to get on satellite. Georgia in the house. What up? Tyson Slipknot. We'll try we will try. We will try. We do have some badass bands coming up um, in the coming weeks, but we can't say because well, we have lots of um, fans that also have radio stations that also interview bands, and we don't want them to uh, piggyback. So uh, we don't, that's why we don't announce what band we're interviewing until it's like that week, like that week. But we need you guys to share, invite your friends. Let's hit 100 so we can give away some shit. 
We want to give out some Hellfire Radio stuff. Favorite female singer? Honestly, Raven Black. And that's not just because we're friends with her. Uh, yeah. She can sing and she can scream, which is extremely hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Randy Rude. Hello. Um, Harmonic, death metal, everything. Yes. It's coming, guys. We are coming full force. The band's going to be on here in about ooh, 10 minutes. So we need you guys to share, invite to your groups. Um, fuck your boyfriend or girlfriend. Come back. Share some more. Uh, <laughs> beat off. Uh, eat ice cream. You nasty. They might, you know. You're being straight nasty they, they look at They're looking at these... Uh, <laughs> what, what, what are you trying to say? You're going to see Raven Black in Utah? You better. Tell her that we sent you and that we say hello. Yes. Thrash metal. It's going to have all kinds of metals, guys. We are not, um, how would you say, picky. Like, we don't discriminate. There's going to be all genres. genres. Black metal, death metal, satanic metal, fucking everything. Christian fucking metal, everything. pagan metal, <laughs> deathcore, hardcore, you name it. Yep. All of the things. Because, you know. Classic rock, everything. Yeah. Keep sharing. You guys, are, your dicks are just limp. Like, super, like, flaccid. I need y'all to share. Scoops his horns is yum. Yep. Merciful Fate. Send that to us. We'll check it out. That's a big band. Very big well, band. Send very, it to very us. big we'll band. Although that would be awesome if we actually got them on. It would. It very much would. But that would be very difficult. You think we'll get paying for this? What? Saliva. We're fucking better than that. We're managed by the damn drama. <laughs> Jesus motherfucking Crosby. Just say. The bit slow Friday, everyone must be out tonight. Yeah, well, this is also still a very new page. This, this, is page, a baby page. this page hasn't even been up 24 hours. So we knew that today was going to be a little rough. We're still building the page. That's why we need y'all to share to every yeah. single group you got. Yes, we need you guys to share, 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 share to big ass groups. That is the key. Share to big groups. Not to your page, but to big groups. Buy, sell, trade groups, Christian groups, hard rock groups. Because unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Facebook are a bunch of assholes, and they like to get paid for advent. They get like to get paid for your shit being seen. So when you share, unfortunately, only one percent of your friends list sees your posts. So, Rommel Constantino, hello. For you guys to help us out the most, we need you to share into very, very large groups. Hi, Ryan. That's Hi, how Rick. that works. Yeah, we're not jugglers. We do enjoy ICP's music. We just, you know, we don't consider ourselves um, part of that fandom. Oh yeah, there's lots of there's lots of them that just assume that yeah. Hey. Make sure you guys like and follow Hellfire Radio. Make sure you give us lots of hearts. I love me some hearts. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a little bit of everything on this radio station, except for, like I said, it's just going to be heavy metal, hard rock, hardcore, and hip-hop. That's it. If it's not within those four, it ain't happening on here. Rick Bottom is the line. leader is the lead for the best band in South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Well, hit us up. Well, hey, yeah, send hit us, us up, best stuff. band in South Carolina. Yeah, send us your stuff. We'll, ta we'll take a listen. Uh, if we hit 100 tonight, guys, we are giving away um, three of these Scoops and Mischief patches with three uh, Scoops and Mischief t-shirts. Oh, I know, Daniel. <laughs> Facebook makes billions of dollars a year, and they still want to fuck the little man. Hi, Jay. How are you? What up, Jay? How are you, Anderson brother? Anderson from glad Brazil. You, glad you found us. Anderson from Brazil. Welcome. We are, are we bringing getting... the band on in T minus so five minutes. Well, you might as well play the video. Okay. Well, or I a guess. video. Can you send us some hard rock? Yes, you absolutely can. Um, we are going to do a short commercial break. Call the band. Bring them in. Uh, we'll be right. Make sure you keep sharing, guys. Okay. Okay.
emotions I'm so high, I'm falling down Filling stain that still remains of me
they're hit. They're hiding. Boop. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're looking at their crotches. Here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Rock right. and roll. Rock and roll, right? That's all what it's about. Crotches. That's it. <laughs> really? It's all rock and roll. That's... Something like that. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think that's the truth. They don't say like <laughs> pussy rock and roll or something. Uh, no, it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Oh, okay. You're way off. <laughs> In that order. Is, is in that order. Awesome. All right. So you guys are going to have to pronounce your name because I'm sure I fucked it up like eight times now. <laughs> Sanj. 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 I've been calling you guys Sanjay. <laughs> you made them French too. <laughs> Only we wait. <laughs> <laughs> we don't smell. <laughs> no. Well, that's good. I appreciate that. So what's up, guys? How you doing? We're doing well. We're, we're, doing, we're out here on the East Coast. Uh, you know. Hanging out, drinking some beer, uh, drinking some tequila, smoking a little bit on the side, you know, and uh, kind of prepping, doing some pregame for you guys, checking it out. Sweet. Uh, very impressed with what you guys are doing, and we're happy to be a part of it tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, speaking of speaking of sub, uh, smoking, <laughs> speaking of smoking, <laughs> do, y'all, do y'all enjoy edibles? Yes, yes, Hell yes, yeah. I do. Yes, we, I, I. I try to, uh, you know, not pigeonhole myself into just one form of, uh, of uh, getting high, you know. So, you know, I, I, I enjoy many different uh, methods. And, and uh, so, you know, flour, oils, edibles, all of it, you know. You know put it in front of me. I'll, I'll consume it. I, I, I am not the best with edibles. <laughs> uh, they, sneak up on you, they sneak up on you, pal. You know, you got to well, watch out for them. I, I, I'm going to tell you a little story. We we went and did a uh, a convention in Denver about what two months ago, mm-hmm. about two months ago. Yep. And uh, we get off early one night and we decided that we're gonna go hit up a dispensary. Never been to a dispensary before. Of course you gotta go. That's right. So we go, and I buy a pat pen, a soda, and a chocolate bar. Get to the hotel room. I hit the pat pen once, and I eat one chocolate. Well, I'm a little stoned off the pat pen, of course. But I wait like two hours and I don't feel shit. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to eat two more pieces of chocolate. That's a big mistake, pal. Oh, it was. <laughs> you talk about getting up at 2 a.m. in the morning to go piss and I straight face planted into the floor. I had to, I had to pee. I had to take a piss from my knees because I couldn't stand up to go. Nice. Well, hopefully you had a boner when you were doing it, so you had some good arc into the toilet. You know well, I mean? l- luckily, <laughs> luckily, luckily, I'm tall enough that I was able to just kind of flop it up there and let it go. <laughs> hey, so, she, it so she's a lucky woman, is what we're talking about here. Right? Yeah, right. yeah. Right. If I would have been any shorter, I would have been fucked. I would have had to exactly. piss all over the floor. Yep. Hey, you know, but hey, it's it's a party night, you know, and and, and that's collateral fucking damage, you know. So. Yeah. It, know, we'll either, that either that or I was thinking about peeing in the trash can. Might have been. Because <laughs> that I could have just grabbed and, and, you know. Just like held it over there. Let go. <laughs> for a different monster, you got to take them fuckers easy. Hey, when you're short, you get hotel rooms with floor drains. Yeah, that's right. When you're short, you get hotel rooms with floor drains. That's right. Or or that's one with the ha- or one with a handicapped shower. Yeah, you just right. roll in there. <laughs> <laughs> you just roll your ass in there and go. So what do what do you guys got going on right now? New music, recording, touring. Right now we are um, we're in the process of trying to put out some uh, some new music that we've already have recorded that we need to finish producing, and um, we are um, right now playing some local shows and looking to expand our market out and do some more regional stuff. We just got signed with four three four management uh, about two months ago, and uh, we're. Yeah, yeah. We're excited to be a part of that family, and um, you know, hopefully that uh, we start to uh, you know work with some of the other bands that are on on the on the uh, management team and, and uh, get get going in that direction. Hopefully, we can see you guys too. And we got to be down there in Williamsburg here yep. pretty soon, and, and uh, so we're in Virginia. Uh, so you know, when you come down, I'm going to have lots of good stuff for you to play with here. You know, so sweet, sweet, that. <laughs> sweet. I'm totally yeah. down. So afterwards, we're going to have to get a list of all the things that you guys need, you know, in order to uh, to really have a good time. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about uh, you know beer and tequila and vodka and shit like that. I'm talking about essentials, essentials that You're you guys about need. Dildos and no, stuff? not dildos. <laughs> 
I mean, I can go get one. I'll have blow up dolls. I'll have fucking. I'll have all that shit ready. I'm just gonna get to clarify this thing. How big of a trailer do we need? We need a trailer. He's got the trailer, so we're good to go. How big? Yeah, let's not do dildos. For some reason, whenever the dildos come out, she hits me in the face with them, and then bitches hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of see that coming right on. That's good stuff. That, that, that don't feel good. Yeah, there's this <laughs> clip somewhere of me like, it's like a boomerang. I'm like. <laughs> yeah, a boomerang. <laughs> you know, those things got weight to them too, you know. I those know. Those things got weight to them. You can knock you the fuck out if you're not careful. So. The fuck? Not really. <laughs> she so, just uh, hit you twice. How, uh, how, how long have you guys been playing together? That sounded bad. We've been a band for um, probably about, what, three three years now? About three years. Um, it took us a little while to get uh, to get going, get rolling. We had some, some hard times trying to find a singer, and um, that didn't work out, so I just said, fuck it, and started singing myself. I'm, I'm the drummer. This is a guitar player. This is our shitty-ass bass player over here. You guys don't have to worry about him. We talked about how bass players are just kind of, like, inconsequential. That's this guy over here. Why well, became a clown. Know. <laughs> he does actually, he does, he's the heart and soul of the band. He does most of the work, but we give him absolutely no credit for it whatsoever. <laughs> um, so, but uh, yeah, we've been a band for about four years or three years and, and uh, took us a while to get started. It actually, it actually took a tragedy for the thing to get, to get kind of kick-started um, and uh, change the name and uh, put a lot more effort into this. Uh, and it, it's all come to fruition now. So, yeah. Um, and we're we're basically you know just going out there to, to uh, you know we we've been doing this a long time and, and uh, we're out there just wanting to want people to hear our music and see us play you know so that's our that's our main goal is to spread our 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 uh, our seed our music seed all over the place <laughs> yeah I like to yeah. spread my seed too you guys <laughs> so how did you come up with that name um, it actually is a it's a nickname for uh, someone that I lost and and uh, so she uh, has become sort of the focus of of what we what we what we're doing you know what I mean it's a, it's a reminder of of uh, making sure that you you kind of like appreciate your day and the people around you and uh, and uh, keep your head on straight and always kind of like you know have a good fucking time but you know appreciate life for what it is you know at the same time so. That's kind of what we what we're all about, you know. We're a fucking hard rock band, but you know, we we definitely have we have a message, and, and that's to to, uh, to appreciate the people around you and, and uh, appreciate what you got, you know, oh, while yeah. you got it. Because you never know when that shit's going to be taken away from you, so you know, or when it's going to end. So that's very true. Very true. Mm-hmm. Very true. Yeah. So who true. would you who would true. you say your biggest influence is for for your sound that you guys have? I mean, my biggest influence actually is is um, Anson Peter. <laughs> Peter <laughs> North who is a porn star. I mean, the guy is a fucking incredible porn star. He can shoot cum all over the place. It's fucking incredible. Uh, but no, musically, that is pretty impressive. He, he is pretty impressive. Is pretty he is impressive. fucking awesome. That, that, that uh, is but for me, musically, it's probably a band called um, Carnival and uh, Sixth. Both bands uh, are European bands. Sixth being a really fucking heavy, incredible band. Um, that has basically set the way for bands like Periphery. Um, yeah. They they created the Gent fucking sound, and uh, they're, it's S I K T H six. They're fucking amazing. If you guys have never heard them, they're incredible. Twelve Foot Ninja. Um, I derive a lot of that. You know, I showed you them. Incredible. You made fun of me for it. <laughs> you know, like, what, for like a Twelve Foot Ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like Twelve Foot Ninja. I, I, Carnival, they're another they're another Australian band. Twelve Foot Ninja Australia, Carnival Australia. Um, you know, uh, we've been kind of like compared to like older '90s grunge, but like a little bit more dark and heavier kind of sorta. So I kind of dig that because you know that's kind of where we all come from. We we come from that older, you know. That old grunge sound that, hey, that was back in the day. Yeah, I love your didgeridoo. Ash, Al- <laughs> Al- <laughs> Al- Zane, Soundgarden, you know, those bands kind of paved the way for us, you know. Um, I was actually big into death metal when I first started playing drums when I was 12 years old. I played my first bar when I was 13, and it was in a death metal band. Um, heavy as fuck, as fast as I could play. But, you know, I'm, I'm old now, and I just got to slow it the fuck down and, and um, you know. Back to the digital reduce. Back to the digital reduce. <laughs> Shane said, "Rockstar on stage, Spider-Man off stage." <laughs> <laughs> you got it. 
<laughs> so, uh, does pineapple go on pizza? That is a uh, Friday fuckery staple question. Pineapple does go on pizza. I'm gonna say uh, yeah. it's it's and as a matter of fact, it's called a fucking Hawaiian pizza. You know, they actually have a name for it. You know, so I mean, if it if, yes. if it doesn't if yes, it didn't uh, go on yes. pizza, then they wouldn't have a fucking Hawaiian pizza because you know, just the same as Hawaiian. And big ass slices of ham that go on that bitch big, too. Big, How you like you them big apples? Big, big. <laughs> so were you all yeses? Is that what that just happened? Well, yes, yeah. exactly. See, I'm a no. And here's my reasoning: hot pineapple is weird. Like if it were a breakfast pizza and it was like cold, it'd be fine. But that's good too. That's fucking good too. You I mean, have also, a- you have obviously I, never I mean, had like had grilled pineapple. Chicken and shit on Why it? do you eat hot pineapple by itself and have a question? Right, it's supposed to be in combination with yeah, all the other flavors. You weirdo. You just don't eat hot fruit. That's weird. <laughs> have you I never had grilled pineapple. pineapple like a shish kebab <laughs> with like no. also nice like? Well, yeah, that's well, that's true. What about apple pie? You know what I mean? That's hot fruit. I I wish. Oh, he on. got your ass. <laughs> he got you. That's different. Pineapple no, it's pineapple. not. It's still a hot <laughs> fruit. <laughs> Peach cobbler, you know, apple pie. You just got pie. nailed. Somebody finally stuck it to your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, no, the connection's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. You shit the fuck up. Another another fan question, favorite is, uh, what color of Kool-Aid is your favorite? Purple. I, I like red myself. I like red. Stains the fuck out of your lips and, you know, kind of fucking dribbles down and shit, you know, fucking get the red ass tongue. You know, I, I'm digging the red. You I'd have nasty. to go to the red. I'm nasty. You would be. Like I you will got fuck you. a woman on her period. I will tell That's you that. Right. Right. Like you, you, got your, you got your red I'm wings. <laughs> I have no problem with that whatsoever. Oh, good Lord, that is nasty. Hey, you know what? Tequila helps all of that. There's tequila right, that right over now. there. We have tequila sitting at the work table. Hi, Brandon. I see you. Is that like is that like a, a bad thing that we've got tequila at the work table? I used to have Jack, like a liter of Jack sitting at the work table, so. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. <laughs> hey, you know what? I was just talking to, to a woman from Europe today. They were talking about how they, at the workplace, have vending machines with alcohol in them. What? So hey, fucking a, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Look at the look on his face. Exactly. <laughs> Vending machines with alcohol in them at the workplace. Can and we, they can do we four get one of these on the tour bus? Give, give them three days off a week. So you know, I mean, I think we're fucking we're doing way wrong. Here. Unfortunately, our tour bus that would be like the only option. We would have a vending machine that would have peanut M and M's. Regular M and M's, Reese's, and then just alcohol. <laughs> alcohol, nothing at all sustainable to survive. Just yeah. things to fucking like pump. No, full. every four purchases you get a piece of lettuce. Exactly. Yay. Every, yeah. Every, yeah. Every every little bit you get maybe like a side salad that'll come up because yeah, no, just one piece of lettuce. Some, somebody said green wings, <laughs> fucking amateurs. What the fuck is that? What was the comment? I didn't hear. Who it. said green wings? Green wings, fucking amateurs. Green wings. I don't know. What are you doing eating out of a vagina that's got gonorrhea? You nasty fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I never heard of that. Either that I mean, or eating I'm a butthole out of the diarrhea. Just, mm. I think I will <laughs> <laughs> go into... Oh, no. We will always volunteer him for yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, and there are odd colors going on. Yeah. That's this guy. I'm supposed to go in That's that guy. He's like, they're mind. like, you, ch- you try it first, and then if you don't die... We'll think about it. <laughs> that is fucking disgusting. Someone called you Mick Nasty. I mean, if 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 it if I can go well, even, your chins. I mean, yeah. come on. If I can go even further disgusting, there's there's actually a test out there, guys. So you know, if you're really worried about it and you think that you know you're getting into a one night stand and, and you got a a possibility that there might be an issue, you know, keep a little bit of salt on the side of the. Of the bed stand there, put it a little bit on your finger, shove it up there, and if she squirms and says ah, that means she's got a fucking problem. You might want to back the fuck out. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, I mind. would agree with I, that. I, a PSA from Sanj and me. I, I, would, I would agree with I, that. We need a button that like pops up and says "the more you know" because we say it so much. <laughs> the more. Oh, you know. no, exactly, 
exactly. Do you, you want to ask I, your, uh... You need a banner that pops up automatically down at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, we do. So, we need a hotkey. I, I actually, I heard that from a, a, a very older gentleman who, who gave me that advice while we were on the job one day. And he said that uh, in the middle of talking about him fucking bacon in a tree. So, you know, I mean, he said it would fuck anything. Hot bacon in a tree. He said I'd fuck it. So, you know, there you go. Oh, How would you bacon. even do that? Like, what do you do? Like, wait till you get a hard on, then, like, wrap it around, like, you're, like, wrapping put, a wiener to put it barbecue in a it? Put it in a knot in a tree. A well, hole. I don't know. In a knot in a tree. Sure. <laughs> Outlook is on bacon, but that shit makes me hard yeah. every time. Yeah, I, mean, I love, <laughs> love bacon. I mean, we're not talking cooked bacon. He's just talking, like, bacon. Oh. Raw, I don't care. Smell, bacon. touch, feel, bacon. Damn. So I'm don't be sound. surprised when you guys come see us in August and I just have a plate of raw bacon and people are going to be like, what's that for? I'm like, it's for Sanj. I, I didn't fuck <laughs> it. When I walk up, I'm going to help you fuck it. I didn't fuck <laughs> it. Steaks will be in bacon. <laughs> they, well, you know, whatever works. It, now you know why he's the bass player. Exactly. He's a bass player too. It's okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Nothing. You're not a bass player anymore. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if if you guys had a vagina, bacon, for, bacon. if you had a vagina for 24 hours, what would you do with it? I would fuck a lot of dicks. <laughs> That's the first time we've no, heard that one. No, 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 no. I would fill it full of Skittles and then wrap it in saran wrap. And then hold a 50 50 raffle. Guess who it made? How many Skittles are in my damn vagina? And try to make some fucking money in this 24 hours. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I only got one day. What am I going to do? I'm going to make some money with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> call, oh. call a skittle twat. <laughs> yeah, I'm shitting rainbows over here. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> what about your pussy? You didn't answer. He hasn't said much. He's in awe of us. He is. This is you know. He's our. He's a, he is our cat lady. This is Ian. He'd put a tampon in. He it. would put a tampon in. <laughs> Actually, he would probably he would probably pamper it with like essential oils. And light a candle, <laughs> anti-vax, and like put a lot of like you know anti like you know what like so ghee butter, ghee shit. butter. Yeah, he would yeah. Pa- he would pamper his. <laughs> he would have alone time, serious alone time with, with his sweet nothing. With, yeah. with yeah, he'd read it a poem. He would he wouldn't even masturbate because he would no. feel that it would no. it would damage his yeah. his vagina. I don't know how I go that far because that'd yeah. be masculine. That would be that too, would be masculine. That would be too masculine. <laughs> He would read a poem. He is our cat lady. He is our cat lady. That's okay. There always has to be one, right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Definitely. We so, uh... ladies, if you guys want to fuck him, he is available. Um, hit his Facebook page and bring he, catnip. With he's, that kind of promo, he's uh, he'll be lining he's, up. Yeah, he's he's ready to go. I'm just letting you know. John said, okay. "Whispering eye." He's hung like a rhino too. I'm just telling you that right now. Just so you know. All right. Someone so... said, "Gay butter." <laughs> no. <laughs> So uh, this is the time where we open up the floor to you guys. So if you guys want to ask them any questions, uh, just so you know, it could get really weird really fast. Weirder than what just happened. So. I mean, we can't see the questions, though. All we see are you guys. We'll so read them up. We'll read them to you once yeah. they come up. I think somebody asked something earlier. Let's see. I want to cut my ear. <laughs> Ty said that he would try to shove the Eiffel Tower in his vagina if he had one. Fuck yeah, that's, that's, that's a good answer. I mean, they have, I think they have, a, I think they have a dildo at uh, Hustler Hollywood that is called the Eiffel Tower. After the Skittles or before the Skittles? After the Skittles. Pro- yeah, we, I don't we know. We want to cram the Skittles up in there a little bit. I mean, I'm going to beat this thing up with Skittles. Yeah, we want to cram the Skittles <laughs> up in that motherfucker. I mean, we want to be like spitting Skittles out for like, you know, a couple weeks later. Well, <laughs> right, like you just bend hours. over and it's like, boop. <laughs> That's so weird. Like, where the fuck did that come from? Oh, you know, it's fine. Sammy just said skeet, skeet. <laughs> Damn it, right? To the window, to the wall. <laughs> that shit's old as fuck. I know, I sing it all the time. Actually, what do I sing all the time? I don't know. Oh, my ladies pop, yo, pussy, that Oh, piece. yeah. <laughs> At, in very inopportune times. 
That's in, right. In the grocery store. <laughs> oh, they want to know if you would eat the Skittles after. Of course. Well, we'd have to hold another contest for today. And, and it would be... Well, the winner of the 50-50 would get to taste the rainbow. Exactly. <laughs> but yes. Yes. Uh, what music inspired you growing up? Um, the first, the very, very first uh, band that I ever bought, like the tape that I ever bought was uh, Beastie Boys, Licensed to Ill. Um, that was the first thing that I ever had my mom actually go buy, buy me. And then after that, it was um, every single Metallica album that was out at that time. So it went all the way from, you know, fucking Kill 'Em All, all the way with the EPs to fucking, at the time it was And Justice for All. That was the last thing. And then at that point, I said, man, fuck all that shit. And I just started listening to death metal. Death metal was my thing. I start, My first death metal band that I ever listened to was Carcass. Symphonies of Sickness, which is probably the most disgusting, ill-produced, awful-sounding album that you could ever listen to, but it was fucking amazing. I loved it. And uh, after that, it was Deicide, Deicide, and Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse is from my hometown in Buffalo, New York. Shout out to all you fuckers in Buffalo. If there's anybody there, go Bills. We fucking suck, but this year is our year. Yeah! <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so death metal, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was a, He's going to hate me. Scoops, He's going to hate Scoops me. Scoops is a Pats fan. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I, know. I love you. That's all right. I love you. No, I love you. It's all right. You know, you got, you, sports you, you got me here tonight on the first, you know, on this 24 hours of your fucking launch. So we're, we're actually pretty honored to be here. And he likes this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's right. So, and you know, uh, but yeah, death metal, man. Death metal was our my first really, really huge, massive influence. Like I said, I was playing that shit when I was thirteen years old in bars as soon as I could. So, I don't know about you. What about you, Ian? I think I don't know. What else did you do? Like uh, Queens, right? Probably Tool, Radiohead. Right. Yeah, Tool was a big one. Tool kind of changed it for me yeah. a bit. I was uh, when when uh, Tool Anima came out, I was listening to with one of my guitar players and we were actually in the studio at the time and we decided that everything that we were doing was shit pretty much and we needed to like kind of just stop and and rethink like all of our our influences and and how how we were friends tool had a pretty big influence on me too yeah absolutely uh what about you Morgan? oh i get an input as a bass player <laughs> that's pretty cool i know I, i'm fine that's very cool that's nice yes, thank you <laughs> so what do you what do you got I was a really big pain, a fan of Pantera and Megadeth. Yep, yep. I didn't like Megadeth too much because I was a Metallica fan, and that whole Fuck Dave that. Mustaine. Oh well, yeah, yeah. And that rift and shit, you know. So at the time, um, but afterwards, um, seeing Metallica live and then seeing Megadeth live, I was like, wow, there's absolutely no no comparison. I mean, Metallica was is, was a great band, but. Live, they were nowhere near as good as I've seen Megadeth several times. And every single time I've ever seen Megadeth, they were fucking badass. They were they were on you know the shit. Dave Mustaine is a fucking egomaniac, but that guy can play the hell out of guitar and sing at the same time. And that's hard to do. Yeah, and, uh, I, I know. I play drums and sing at the same time too. I, uh, so it's it's a difficult thing. So all right, so we have time for two more questions, and this one is for the bass player actually. Uh, if you had a choice of bass guitar, what would you play? Any any bass guitar you'd want? Brand. Brand, yes. It's Warwick. Hands down, Warwick. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll have another question. A couple more. With your admiration of bacon, would you fuck a pig? Would I fuck oh, a pig? Yeah. I have I have fucked pigs before. Um, you know, um, uh, some of them have been, you know. We're not very, talking about your mom. Oh, uh, we're not talking about those huge women that I've actually had sex with yet. No, I'm, you no, know, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have a sex with a pig because you know what? They're abused enough. They're number four on the intelligence scale. I mean, it, they're just so fucked with. It's ridiculous. So I think that that would just be like over the top of the torment and turmoil that a pig has to fucking constantly go You're through. not taking bacon from me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so um, I would not fuck a pig. They said, what is your black metal influence? Uh, my black metal influence is Dark Throne. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's Back good in the one. day, actually, um, there was a... There, they actually... A lot of people don't know this, but Dark Throne sounded more produced 
before they actually got really, really, really black metal. Um, I can't remember the name of the album, but it's it's an EP that was right before um, they really they and they did not paint their face and they didn't do any. They weren't into um, God. What's the name of the the band that of the guy that that was killed that was over there in the Netherlands? Mayhem. Oh was yeah, mayhem? yeah, mayhem. Yeah. Okay. So mayhem kind of changed them, and uh, so when uh, right before all that. Their Dark Run was a very like like way like somewhat more produced, and um, that was actually what turned me on to them first. And then when they started to transcend, and I started listening to Mayhem more, I was like, yeah, these guys are fucking insane. And then and that's kind of what got me painting my face in in death metal bands. And first, you know, and to be honest with you though, one of the the best death metal bands that I ever I love more than anything else is Edge of Sanity. Edge of Sanity is a fucking incredible band that. Uh, Really, it was ahead of their time. Did a lot of the shit that kind of like Mashuga does now, which like these fucking epic songs that are their long shit, and um, the stories that they told in their in their music. If you never heard of Edge of Sanity, check them out. They're bad as fuck, you know. So, yeah, yeah, I like them older definitely. older death metal bands, and and um, there was you know I even like bands that were on the cusp back then, like bands like Cathedral. Um, Cathedral had Lee Dorian in it, which was the original singer for Napalm Death. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. Check yeah. out fucking Napalm Death. Um, but Napalm Death had Lee Dorian and Bill Steer back in it, and Bill Steer was the guitar player for Carcass. Those were all the original fucking death metal pioneers. Okay, Carcass, Napalm Death, um, yeah, Deicide, Cannibal Corpse. You know, with the exception of Glenn Barnes. You know, he's not. I'm not really a big fan of him. You know, but anyway, but. Uh, yeah, but uh, those, yeah, so old school death metal, I, you know, if you, if you want to ask me more about that shit, I got you covered, for sure. <laughs> All right, shameless plugs. Shameless plugs. Sanj is a fucking amazing band. We are badass. Um, check us out. Um, 434 Management is the shit. And uh, Scoops and Mischief is fucking amazing, and we appreciate you guys for being um, so generous to allow us on your show tonight. Absolutely. Thank you this. for coming. So, if, you know, please check out our videos. Um, like our stuff, even if you don't. Be nice. Make nice <laughs> comments, even if you really, really want to troll the fuck out of us. Fuck that shit. Be nice. <laughs> we got enough of that shit right now, and I'm sure you're, you're seeing a lot of it anyway. You guys control these guys. They can handle it, okay? This guy's really sensitive, okay? <laughs> Very sensitive. All right, so we'll hear it later on, and we'll have a lot of text messages about it later on. So, you know, <laughs> don't do that to us, please, for the love of God. Um, you know, or Allah or Satan or whatever the fuck you believe in. So don't do that. Uh, but, yeah, send us some likes. Uh, spread the fucking word. If you're a band that wants to hook up with us, we want to play out in different areas in our uh, other than where we are right now. Uh, we want to get more regional. Um, or you know, do do more shit. So hit us up on Facebook, or let's maybe do some show trades. Let's get it going. All right. Thank you guys for coming on. I appreciate it. Us. Loved it. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Okay. So we are going to cut to a quick commercial break, and then um, what you, you guys are going to see are. Can't hear you. Oh, hang on one they second. Said, they went back to the regular show. Oh, did they? Yep. Yeah. Hang on one sec. Okay. Um, But yeah, so we're going to cut to a commercial break. You guys are going to watch a Worldwide Panic music video, and then we'll be... And it might be, because, uh...
Team Deadlift. Headed open the doors to an unimaginable darkness. I can't stand this side of myself anymore. Hold on, I gotta I gotta switch some things around. And there is. You want to fix that while yep. I get this fixed? We just gotta switch some stuff around, guys. And then, all right. So we have worldwide panic in the house. Who are you, and what do you do for your band? I'm Lane Seal. I play bass and do vocal for the band called Worldwide Panic. Awesome. How the hell do you do that? Bass and sing at the same time. Yes. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. It's, it's not very hard because, you know, I mean, uh, I draw influences from, like, you know, Tom Mariah, Lemmy, like Gene, like Gene Simmons, you know what I mean? But, but um, yeah, you know, there's plenty of prominent bass vocalists out there, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to do it in a way that I haven't seen other guys do it before in the sense that, that I do try to do a lot of different vocal tones and try to make the bass line as sit different from what I'm doing vocally as possible. So yeah, it's challenging, but it's fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. And and we were just talking on break. I was asking him, you know, how the tour with Mushroom Head was like. I mean, what was it like to to be in a in a tour like that? Well, um, so the tour to get a little bit of a backstory on that. That was called the Madison Mayhem tour. And that featured um, ourselves, uh, Ventana, which is kind of like a side project of Mushroom Head. And then this other thing, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, it's called the uh, uh, Hells of Pop and Circus Sideshow. Oh, yeah, we know who they are. <laughs> so, um, for those of you who don't know, it basically it's a traveling circus sideshow that's kind of like heavy metal themed, but people do um, an array of like, Eye socket lifting, sword swallowing, fire breathing, uh, you know, all this you know, jumping on fucking glass that's on fire. You know, so I mean, there's a lot of that kind of shit. So it was like a whole night of every single band, including us, had some sort of theatrical element that was going on with it, which was very cool. Um, it was very vaudeville. Um, so it was fucking, it was fucking cool as shit. You know what I mean? So it wasn't just going out with Mushroom Head. It was being able to be a part of this, like, like interactive experience with, for everybody, which is fucking sweet. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what do you guys have going on right now? Are you guys going back out of tour again? Are you working on new music? What you got? Well, 
right now we have a new EP that's been done. Um, we worked on it with Mike Plotnikoff. He did like Kiss and Van Halen and Aerosmith, but also done like Fear Factory and like In Flames and shit. So just some guy who could really like nail for what we were going for. It's kind of like the catchy choruses, but like the kind of the over the top, you know, um, like cinematic industrial vibe that that goes along with our whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was fucking, it was fucking sweet. It's called the You and Me. It's done. We've been selling pre-sales on the tour that we did much Mushroom and we we've been selling pre-sales and pre-sale bundles, which include shirts on our website. Uh, WorldwidePanic.net, um, doing pre-sales for that. So if you want to get it, it's called the You and Me EP. Um, we're going to release it probably later this summer and um, probably closer to the end of uh, August, right in, that, right in that last. When you release it, let us know because we'll push it um, on the radio page. Cool. We'll, we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll share it. Yeah. But besides that, we're writing a new full-length album. Um, there's a lot of material that we play live on our tours that we didn't make to the album. So we're going to refresh those and we have like a batch of like eight or nine tunes that have been worked on since just the, the mushroom head tour by itself, which is only like less than two months ago, it's something like that. So, um, we've been writing as a band, you know, really interacting with each other letting everybody kind of have a little bit of, of chance to express themselves in the creative process. Because before, like, I was, like, very hands-on. Like, I'll fucking make the drum, I'll do the MIDI, I'll do the guitar, I'll do the bass, and then, you know, I'll let, you know, like, a lead, lead guitar player play a solo. But, like, you know, um, the shit that's... Was it was in two of the newest songs that are on the EP, and then the whole new album is like really done like as a band, which is really interesting. So um, we're gonna start playing some of that shit live on the next tours. So people be be watching out because we're gonna be doing some LA dates. We're playing next Thursday, free in North Hollywood at Skinny's. So, oh, go cool. awesome! Go. So yeah, you are, you've been uh, you were the primary writer. And now you're starting to, you guys are starting to collaborate with more of everybody kind of writing their own stuff, or are you still writing it? We're collaborating. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. who who would you say is your biggest influence for you as far as what you go, what you put into your music? You know, uh, a singular person or band or thing doesn't really like, um, you know, like right now, like I'm like reworking a bunch of samples and shit. So I'm like, I'm kind of like my head's like in Sampleville right now. <laughs> so like, I'll do that. Like once the songs are done and just have structure, then I'll fucking go like crazy and I'll do all that shit. You know, get crazy industrial with it, whatever. And then, like, then I'll go back to like, okay, I want to pick up my guitar and do all this other structure. So. There's not a real band, I would say, that I'm trying to emulate or a sound or something like that. I'm really influenced by, like, David Lynch films, like Lost Highway. Oh, yeah. Lost Highway was great. Yep. I love that soundtrack. Like, Blue Velvet. Yeah, exactly. Like, that soundtrack, like, helped out so many people. Um, So, uh, I'm inspired by that. Um, And then just fucking... Out over the top, like weird shit. When it comes to this, the I want to make people feel unsettled with some of these songs. You know, some of these songs are yeah, I want it to be palatable and and catchy and kind of you know like radio rock, heavy radio rock. But I definitely would like some of this newer stuff that we're doing that's gonna kind of kind of be a little bit more dark. So which is gonna be which is cool because that's right up my alley. So so are you are you going darker with the sound or just the overall like lyrical content of the music? Um, a little bit of both, but it's not an overkill. You know, it's just gonna it's just gonna kind of be dealing with a little darker things, and yeah, the 
the the samples and the industrial use, I'm sorry, um, are going to be a lot darker. But the the bus, the message of the band is going to be the same, and it's going to be like, you know, battling through darkness to get to positivity. You know, we are definitely a band that does have a message, and it's battling, you know, hard times to come to a point where you're always, you know, getting to a new plateau in life. So yeah, we're doing it in a in in the vein of of hard rock metal, but we want it to be like something that people can relate to and help them in life. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, how got how long have you guys been around? Um, this incarnation has been around for about a year. We it, it just went about a year in June. Um, the the band name and some of this, like the earlier songs have been like, or like a mushroom head or whatever, you know, um, or our bros vices, shout out to vices. Like, you know, um, yeah, about a, about a, about a year. That's awesome. That's the, you, you, you've got, you've accomplished quite a bit in a year. Yeah. In a year. Yeah. And it's just, you know, both my guitar players are named George. George and George. <laughs> there you go. You get half the you band know, that way. <laughs> you know, uh, they call themselves Mexican George and White George. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's what. Um, that's the way to do it. And that's what that is. So we're like the the core of the band. You know, our our latest drummer. Uh, Jay Cali, he's been doing very well. He went on tour with us with Mushroom Head. So it's been a good addition to the band. You know, it's been a little bit of a spinal tapping situation with the drummer. Mm-hmm. But, you know, um, the one that we got right now seems to be real good. Sweet. Now, are you guys on a record label or are you still independent? You know, we are still independent. Um, you know, it, there's, there's a lot of benefits to that too, you know, yep. where, um, basically everything needs to be done in, in steps and that in, 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 in that meaning, no one's really going to sign an, uh, an unknown band if they don't have a manager because then it's unsolicited material, all that fucking bullshit. I'm sure people have yeah. kind of familiar with that fucking terminology. So, uh, so we're looking for proper manager. Um, there's no shortage of people who are, are interested in joining our forces with us, but like, there's a lot of things that you have to be careful for in this industry and really care for your, yourself and your bandmates and you know their families and their futures as well. So you know you have to, you have to be very careful. So yeah, uh, no, at this time we don't have a label. Um, we're looking. Um, and you know, that's the cool thing about this EP and this EP is in, in various formats, some of these songs have been released already. So this is a new version of everything that's have been, have been released except for the title track song. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to like lay its stamp for what that was for World by Panic and then the future is going to be fucking something totally different. So, gotcha, gotcha. Um, you know, and the EP is a cool thing because it's a launching point. Like, it's not like all the songs that we have, but it's a fucking good start. It's a fucking you know, foot in the foot in the doorway, if you will, so we can you know attract such type things, so we can get people to put money behind doing our full length record. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, oh yeah, definitely. So is it is your EP available now, or has it not come out yet? It has not come out yet. We're we're in talks with the tour in particular um, around the time that I was talking about, yep. like end of summer. Um, so we're working on the particulars of that right now, um, and you know we got a really cool like you know PR team and radio promotion team behind us. It's gonna be really cool. Um, and we're just kind of waiting for that. We're, we're waiting for that time, you know. So now, uh, our favorite question here at the Friday Fuckery Show is: uh, Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yeah. 
Thank you. I'm losing tonight. Thank you. <laughs> you lost at Metal in the Mountains. I too. did. And all mine. We did like a poll and I lost there too. If it I wasn't was. hot. Not that, I, not, it would that be it's my go, not that it's my go to. But if it was there, you would eat it. I will eat pineapple. I will eat Hawaiian pizza. Yes, of course I will. Thank you. <laughs> I win. Are you proud of yourself? Case Hawaiian closed. pizza is quite refreshing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's my favorite. And, and, and if y'all ever been in New York, I don't know where you guys are from, but if, if you ever go to New York, go to like an actual New York pizzeria and get a white pizza. A white pizza. That is amazing. We are, we are from Nebraska. We're from Nebraska, yeah. So we are going okay. to New York in October. So we yeah. will have to try it. It's all just white. <laughs> No man, no, just fucking white shit. You would like, like that. I would like that. Yeah, I was you would, say, like I would probably that. like that. So, is it like Alfredo or what? What is it? Yeah, Alfredo. Yeah. Yeah. See, I would like that. You would like that. I like yeah, Alfredo. no, tours, tours, fucking great, dude. Like it's so much fun. Like every time we go through like Chicago, we have deep dish pizza. Like every time we go to Cleveland, we go to the fucking Rockmore Hall of Fame for free. And if you are a band, you can get in there for free as long as you have your tour laminate. You know, um, so it's fucking great. Like, you know, just touring with like, yeah, in, in like that short period of time in one year, like Flaw, Smile, Empty Soul, you know, fucking Hell's a Pop and Mushroom Head. It's fucking cool, man. Doing a record all in that one time. So it's, it's really fucking cool. You sound as busy as we are. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any shameless plugs? Where can, where can people find you? Where would they, can they find your music? So on and so forth. Yeah, dude. Um, we played in Nebraska, dude. We played at the waiting room. It was yeah, fun. yeah, that's a good one. I was there, and like, like, I was fucking on like adrenaline high, dude. And I'd like, it was a fucking total blizzard, and there was like feet and feet of snow <laughs> on the ground. And I just fucking like hussed this fucking shovel and like dug our van out, and like I did it in like a like a t-shirt or something fucking crazy. It's awesome. Hell that's my. hilarious yeah we had a lot of snow like uh this year's snow was like the worst snow we've had in the last like 45 years wow it was gnarly yeah it i was bet gnarly. i bet so where can we find uh, your music are you on apple spotify shameless plugs yes. yeah i mean um everybody seems to be going to the spotify these days which is cool so check that out we're panic on spotify um, we got pretty much, uh, three or four songs up on there right now. Okay. Um, and then, um, check out our YouTube, Worldwide Panic YouTube. Um, but if you want to go pre-order the album or the get a bundle, which includes a brand new t-shirt or a t-shirt, any t-shirt of your liking, by the way, you can go purchase the pre-order, which is only five bucks or... Uh, a pre-order, which is like 25 bucks, um, at our website, worldwidepanic.net. Dot net. And then, every, and then everything else is Facebook backslash worldwide panic. Um, Instagram is at um, worldwide underscore panic, and um, same for Twitter and all that other shit. So sweet. Well, yeah. we uh, greatly appreciate you joining us. Yes. It has been a blast. And we will hopefully talk to you again very soon. Hopefully we'll see you in New York. In, in where? New York. Where are you from? New York, yes. 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 No, I'm in, I'm in boring ass Pasadena, California. It's oh, you're boring. on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully yeah. we'll come out to California at some point. Some point. <laughs> at some point. All right. Yes. Thank you. But, but, but we'll hang soon. All right. Yes. Take care, guys. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let me... Uh... All right. So we're going to go to a quick commercial break. We're going to come back and we're going to close the show. Enjoy some more Worldwide Panic.
Welcome Vicky and Anna. Thank you for being first timers. We are going to be live for another about 15 minutes or so. So if you guys would like to, we would like you to go ahead and share to some groups. Thank you for joining us tonight um, for the inaugural uh, Hellfire Radio. I know this was the inaugural one. Yeah. I mean, we knew it was going to be a little rough because it's a brand new page. Not a lot of people on it yet, but we'll get there. But thank you for sticking with your guys' with help. Yeah. For for old fans who have been following the Friday Fuckery Show for well over a year now that we've yes. that we've been doing this and we've went from, you know, radio station to radio station to radio station. Now we own our Yes. So thank you. We appreciate you. No problem. Thank you guys again for sticking around and hanging out. Who was the three guys? That was Sanj. S O N G E. Sanj. Like Sanja, but Sanj. Yeah. Song with an E. Thank you, Mohawk. Thank you for staying in here, too. We hope you guys had a good time. Uh, Brandon, yeah, we have um, we have our own page, Scoops and Mischief, if you don't know who we are. We have 32,000 fans on that page. It's going. It took us, you know, a little over a year to do that, so it's going to take um, time to build up this page. Yeah. We are, however, doing a giveaway on this Hellfire Radio page. Um, there's a, I think it's pinned. There's a pinned post. Uh, you can, if you invite your entire friends list and post a screenshot, uh, you'll be entered to win uh, a Hellfire Radio T-shirt. So. Yep. What time of night do we come on? So, Vicky, we go on um, the Scoops and Mischief page. We go live Monday um, and Thursday. Um, from Twitch, we go live Tuesday and Thursday. And then um, Fridays, we are live here on the Hellfire Radio page. We will have multiple DJs on the Hellfire page. Um, we're hoping to have mo almost every day of the week we'll have something going on. Um, 
Yeah, it's okay. Uh, what's up, Megan? Dawn, welcome. Dawn what is a first timer. Welcome. Make sure you guys are sharing to your groups. Um, we're going to hang out for a little bit longer. John, we're going to get you a, a John size shirt. We will. We will. We will. It's coming. Uh, we actually go talk to a printer next Saturday. So. Thank you, John. Actually, we're, we're, we're about to have uh, we're about to have some other cool stuff coming out. Nothing we uh, can talk about yet. Yeah. Actually, we got patches right here, though. Really, What's up, Eric? Dope. How are you, babe? Patches. We have patches now. And these are actually UV reactive. I'm actually going to take a picture later on and post it. And post it. But they are very, very Thank you, UV skits. reactive. What up, Skits? Yes, join more groups before the next live show. I mean, just think, just think of any kind of groups you think that would be receptive. Where can you find Spider Energy? You can find Spider Energy at Dollar General. Most Dollar Generals in the Dollar Food aisle. It is not in the drink aisle. You have to go to the Dollar Food aisle, and it's usually on an end cap, from what I understand. Um, but you can get it there. Albertsons, Higgly Wiggly. Um, where else? Family Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, or Eric Amazon. Silva. I see Eric. Eric Silva, Eric Silva. I love Eric. Eric Silva. Thank you, Megan. We love you. We love all of our fans. We love every single one of you. Yeah, if you guys want to also keep up with us, you can also go to our page. Just type in Scoops of Mischief. Mischief. You'll find our page. We go live there several times a week. There's yeah. going to be lots going on on Hellfire Radio. Um, we got, you know... Shock Jock Scott coming, Mr. Scott Paulson. Uh, we've got Kevin Yates from FYM Reacts that'll be coming on. Uh, we are going to have a... Now, this is once the radio part opens up in the station. Launch actually launches, launches the internet station. Hi, William. Um, we will have a sports show for the Metalhead coming very soon. Thank uh, you, Jason. Some other awesome podcast is coming on. So, be watching out for that. Yes, lots of stuff coming. Um, so much stuff coming. Uh, make sure you guys like both pages, Hellfire Radio and the Scoops of Mischief page. Um, yeah, we're, a lot of stuff is in the works. A lot of stuff is coming. Um, this is going to be a fan-driven station for the most part. So if you want to hear some music um, that is in the heavy metal, hard rock, um, horrorcore, hip-hop genres, you can send us a message. We'll take a listen. If we like it, we'll put it on our playlist for rotation. Um, if you guys have a band or know a band or are in a band um, and want to be on the show, send us your EPK. Send us a music video to listen to. Um, we do require at least one kind of professionally recorded song. Um, if you don't have any, uh, unfortunately, you know, we can't help you promote unless you have at least one good MP3. Yeah. Megan? Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. We love Spider and the G Drake. Yeah. So, any last minute questions for us, guys, before we go for the night? We'll answer anything you want. Oh, yeah. Last last minute questions. Sarah, anything about the radio station? Sarah Hildebrand. Tour. Whatever. Sarah oh, we are. Me. Our next our next tour date is next Saturday. Saturday. Not this Saturday. Not tomorrow. But next Saturday in Rantol. Rantol, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want the address, we have an event message. page up in our events. That is Edgefest 3. We will be there. And, oh, yeah. what we are bringing is going to be intense. So, you definitely want to come. But, it is BYOB. 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 <laughs> so, bring your own shit. Bring your lawn chairs. And, come on out. It's going to be a, it's going to be a blast. Catch you later, Vicky. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I do not have any frequent flyer miles. We drive everywhere we go. Yeah, we drive everywhere. We've been flown out somewhere once. Yeah, one time did we get flown out. That was it. One time. 
Brandon, we were trying to get on Blue Ridge. That's a joke. But they couldn't. Uh, yeah, if you want to see us at Blue Ridge, send Blue Ridge Page a message right now and say you want to see Scoops and Mischief. Tell them you want to see Scoops of Mischief hosting Blue Ridge Rock Fest. You got it. You have Send to me message. If you want to see, you it have to message them. You have to message their page and say, "I want to see Scoops of Mischief host." Um, the Facebook page is fine, Skits. Jason, we travel all over the United States, so yeah, go to our page, Scoops of Mischief. Go look at the events tab, Caxter, and that what's shows up, you everywhere we're gonna be. You can see every little stop every, that we're making. Everywhere. Hi, Caxter. How are you? So we we have some uh, we have a lot of cool shows that are going to be coming on here. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure me at heart are going to be uh, doing our own version of. You guys remember uh, Headbangers Ball? It used to be on MTV. Yes. Way back. Where they would show videos, and then after the video, talk about the video a little bit, talk about the band a little bit, and they show another video. We are probably, I'm not saying that's a guarantee, but probably going to bring that back at some yes. point. So that's up in the air. That's being discussed Blake between said, us I'll see you the 22nd. Sweet! Sweet, so that's in Kansas. Come see it. Sweet. We'll see you in Kansas. You better be prepared to get lit. Because you're going to get lit whether you want to get lit or not. Actually, I, you know, I, I fucking hate flying. And the reason why is because my legs are fucking long. I have long ass fucking legs. And sitting in that... Pain in the ass, straight up fucking chair with my long ass legs and my knees buried in somebody else's back for hours on end is not comfortable. And I fucking hate it. Not to mention my ears, I have serious issues with altitude and my ears, they pop and build fluid and it fucking sucks. It sucks. Yes, we will be playing the the new show that we are talking about bringing out. We will be playing the actual videos and then discussing them, talking about them, and then going into another video. But it'll probably be about an hour, hour and a half show, similar to MTV's old uh, Ed Baker's Ball. Minions feed should be next week sometime. Hopefully. We are in the process of moving and... It's life is a little crazy right now. So, but yeah, so we love you guys. We will see you guys on Monday for Monday Night Ritual on the Scoops and Mischief page. Uh, we love you all. Questions, comments, concerns, messages at Scoops and Mischief or the Hellfire Radio page. And we'll take care of you. Share to your friends. Enter that giveaway.
dreams when I sleep.